A new star system alpha 3.21.1 patch hit the EPTU for I believe it's for Evo Cadi and um, it says up to wave one testers here so um, that's going to be Evo and wave one testers. Testing focus in this patch is going to be the security ship trespass, mission defense data heist, new player experience at new Babbage, vehicle headlights refactor, the Crusader C1 Spirit. Nice. They also mentioned here that there are some features that are in partial state. It's, it says these features are in a partial working state and not fully ready for feedback. They may still be mostly functional and you can test them as much as you like. But at this time, we are not accepting feedback. Tractor beam tier two vehicle tractor beam. Awesome. It says currently said tractor beams is in, but is having quite a few issues with different ships and functionalities. Currently the C1 Spirit is in best shape to test this while other ships like the SRV has very disruptive audio issue while using the beam and other ships may not be able to use their tractor beams fully. This means the Nomad, the Cutlass Black, the 315P, the Caliper and the Hall C. So they also have here the Argo SRV is also in partial state. Siege of forcing global event reactivation. Feedback thread will be available when event is in next run. FPS AI behavior integration. Feature fully functional, but feedback thread will be available once CH of Orson is in run to maximize feedback. All right, there's quite a few known issues. I'm not going to read them through here. Under the feature section, they have the system security ship trespass. It says here the interior of the player ships are now considered a trespass zone for those without permission to enter. Permission will be granted via the party system until more complex systems for managing crew passengers is created. Players trespassing aboard a ship will see a trespass warning and can be attacked by the owner of the ship and any player in their party without fear of committing a crime. This timer has a brief period after they exit the ship to where hostile actions against the trespasser are warranted. If the player is allowed to access the ship due to the owner being hostile, then the hostile's hostility timer runs out while still aboard. They retain the right to remain aboard until they leave. Should the attack form a hostile, they will be able to receive crime and be lawfully attacked in defense. Should former hostiles attack them, they will be able to press charge and be lawfully act in self-defense. This update will remove the warning that all players see in a ship when a new person joins, making it much more difficult to tell when your ship has been boarded and by whom until visual confirmation has been made. Interesting, interesting. The next one here is the mission defend data heist. It says implementing both lawful and unlawful mission that task the player with infiltrating locations defended by hostile NPCs to hack terminals. Players with the mission will be sent to a location to help recover steal data from servers at the location. They will need to access the main terminal via the hacking or technical ID chips found at the location and give access via the interaction screen to their mission handlers who will initiate the download. During the download, they will defend the terminal and servers, the latter of which can be destroyed or overheated. Once enough data has been uploaded, they will be able to leave the area completing the mission. They will fail if too many servers have been destroyed or not enough data has been uploaded. On the ships and vehicles, they've added the Argo SRV and the Crusader C1 Spirit, as I mentioned earlier. On the feature updates, they have FPS AI behavior integration. With 3.21.1, we have integrated in much of the FPS AI behavior from Squadron 42. These updates have been polished and worked on on outside of Star Citizen release build until now. They have vastly improved overall difficulty and reaction time, animation, behavior, and other traits and make combat with them much more dangerous but rewarding experience. I have to say this is actually uh, also in the pyro build. I noticed that the AI, some of them behave differently. Some of them are a lot more aggressive. Some of them will actually suppress you while the others 
engage so it's really interesting to play on the gameplay they've added the track to beam tier 2 vehicle track to beam it says the inclusion of the vehicle track to beam and the ability to tow ships has been added to 3.21.1 the vehicle track to beam feature will not only bring the track to beam to the vehicle but also extend the fps tractor beam by adding more functionality and adding the standalone tractor beam to the game tractor beam on ships this update includes pilot and remote turret control tractor beams to ships that allow them whilst most ships have remote turrets controlled ships such as the 315p and the vulture will have pilot controlled tractor beams that's interesting we also included the ability for specialized ships like the Argo SRV to, to use tow tractor beams, allowing them to grab onto and pull ships that have their shields and engines disabled through space, atmosphere with gravity, and through quantum travel. Known issue QT tow is not functional at this time due to a bug. Man, this is gonna be this is gonna add so much to the game, man. Really, really interesting. New additional functionalities will include a larger new standalone FPS tractor beam tool. Oh man, we get the big one now. Nice. A new update to the balance of all tractor beams and adding different sizes of tractor beam to allow different masses or volumes to be grabbed. Allowing for multiple tractor beams to affect a single item and allow multiple players to manipulate the same object. This is awesome. The new player experience at New Babbage. We have done a full update on the new player experience and signage to bring this feature to New Babbage. This update includes many changes to make the mission flow better through New Babbage as well as additional shops, more location signage and full lighting polish pass to the landed zone. Also they have CH of Orson global event reactivation. Reintroduction of CH of Orson into the PU. Many updates to the general SOO location, AI, behavior, and balance changes have been worked on since the last run of this event. This activation will allow us to run CH in 3.21.1 and later during specific times and dates when needed. Ground Radar Sensitivity Edition Integrated Radar Ground Sensitivity So different radars can see ground vehicles from different ranges. This includes a full balance pass on ground vehicle emission. Also adds the ability for ground vehicles using missile operator mode to target lock other ground vehicles. That is awesome. Underground facility ledge cover and navigation improvement pass has also been added. Ships and vehicles. It says the vehicle headlight refactor. The Star Citizen Light team have collaborated to carry out a light rework of every vehicle in the PU. This has been done to create a more consistent look and functionality across each manufacturer the headlight intensity radius distance cast and color will be set based on vehicle size and manufacturer this means each vehicle will fall into one of six categories ranging from size one with 500 meters of headlight cast distance up to size six with 3000 meters of headlight cast distance man this is huge this the light changes is going to be huge i can't wait to actually see this in the game the tumbro nova movement tweaks adjusting minimum and maximum tractor friction and steering stiffness they also have a ton of bug fixes which i'm not going to cover in this video or also be too long as well as some technical client and server crash fixes in this patch if you're looking for an org whether you're a veteran or a new player you can check out my organization called phase one industries if you'd like to join us you can join our discord in the description down below make sure to leave a like subscribe i'll see you on the next video